Hi, I'm Claire from The Study Gurus. In this video, we're going to talk about five things that you can do during exam study to help manage your time better. Obviously, when it comes to exam study, time is one of the things that you are fighting the hardest against. You have so much to cover, potentially an entire year's worth of work, and maybe you've only got a few weeks, maybe up to a couple of months in which to study all of it. Needless to say, when you start studying, it can be incredibly overwhelming. But the point of this video is not to freak you out, it's to talk about five things that can actually help you manage your time better and make things seem less scary. The first thing that we would recommend, highly recommend, is to make an exam study timetable. An exam study timetable is exactly what it sounds like. It's a timetable that you make that plans out exactly what you're going to study and when you're going to study it from the time you start your exam preparation all the way up to each exam. That might sound like a lot of extra work, but it's really not. You can do something really simple in a table or just handwritten. It doesn't need to be a work of art. And this will take so much stress out of your life because it puts you in control of your study plan. It is a way that ensures that you're going to cover everything you need to before the exam. Seriously, don't underestimate the amazingness of an exam study timetable. It takes so much stress out of your life. It becomes your key point of reference every day. Highly recommend that you have a go at using one. The second thing that we recommend that you do to make managing your time easier during exam study is to break your study down into chunks. So what we mean by break your study down into chunks is you break it down into your different subjects and within that your different topics and subtopics within a subject. This way every time you study you're sitting down with a purpose to cover that one particular chunk of that subject which makes things a lot more manageable and makes everything seem a little less overwhelming. So for instance you're sitting down at your desk and you think okay for this hour I'm just going to focus on quadratic equations and once you've done with that hour you can move on to a new topic and it might be something else to do with maths or it might be for a completely different subject. We found that this really helped us study more efficiently because you're studying with a goal, like right, right, quadratic equations, that's what I'm doing now, tick, move on. And also it really helps you to avoid wasting time, spending too much time just on one subject. You're likely to have exams on several different subjects all in a really close time frame, maybe over a couple of weeks. So you can't really afford just to spend you know, days on end studying for one subject to the detriment of others. So breaking your study up in this way is going to make sure that you're dedicating an even and fair amount of time to every subject. And don't forget to plug these different chunks of your study into your exam study timetable. So we found it really helpful to cover several different topics and subjects every day. The third thing we found that really helped keep our study rolling on efficiently was to not be too hard on yourself and just move on or stop and have a break when you're just not feeling it. So we all hit study walls. We all hit that point where you're like, I just can't read another sentence or I just can't bear this any longer. And when you're at that point, it's actually way better to just go and have a break for a little bit until you kind of can face the prospect of coming back to your desk again. If you just try and, you know, tough it out and sit at your desk and push through, I mean, that might work, but you also might just become really resentful of study and just associate it with being this hideous task when it's really okay to have a break, go for a quick walk and come back and feel more refreshed. The fourth thing that we found really helped manage our time during exam study was to take regular breaks. So yes, this is very much related to the last point when we said, um, if you're feeling like you've hit a wall, just take a break. Scheduling regular breaks into your exam study timetable is going to help prevent you from hitting that study wall. Based on what we hear, a common study session uh, would be probably somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour, followed by a 10 to 15 minute break. Longer or shorter might work for you better and that is absolutely fine. The other thing that stopping and having these regular breaks is, and this is, you know, not exactly something we can scientifically prove, but we definitely felt that it helped to consolidate everything we just studied in that previous study block of, say, 45 minutes to an hour. Having a break and going away and doing something kind of mindless or where you're not thinking about study kind of helps just let all of that information that you've read about or written about settle. And then when you come back for your next chunk of study, you're ready to take on that new subject or that new topic or whatever it is. 
The fifth and final thing that we found really helped keep our exam study efficient or as efficient as possible was to study with a goal. Now, it's not like we sat down and wrote out study goals every day, but it's just a matter of studying with a purpose. So like I said before, you might dedicate a certain chunk of your study to going over quadratic equations. Well, that in itself is a study goal. And this really helps with your time management because it keeps you on track. You have something to work towards. The other thing that having these little study goals does is it really helps to focus your study. It makes sure that you're spending time on the big ticket items and spending less time on the nice to know stuff. Because there's so much to study and not a huge amount of time, it's essential that you make sure that you understand those key topics really well and spend most of your time studying those. Sure, if you're feeling really well prepared, that's when you can start to study kind of the peripheral things and the parts of a subject that are going to show the examiner that you really know your stuff. But before you get to that point, you want to make sure that you've spent the bulk of your exam study spending time on the topics that are really important. Yes, time can be against you when it comes to exam study. There's so much to cover and potentially not a lot of time. But we found that these five tips, which if you think about it, are all very easy. They're not rocket science. But by implementing these study tips into your study routine, they can have a huge impact on your efficiency and also on your stress levels. So there are five really easy tips that you can implement to help with your time management during exam study. Just to quickly recap, they were make an exam study timetable, break your exam study down into chunks, move on when you hit a wall, have a break, four, schedule regular breaks into your exam study timetable, and number five, make sure that you set study goals on a daily basis to help guide your study. If you have any time management tips of your own, we'd love to hear about them, so leave them in the comments below.